So we have in the middle here, uh, Ms. Intan Rafiza Abu Bakar. She's an artist. Here I put emphasis on the artist. And also, as we know, her daily job is a curator at Bali National, uh, you know, at the National Art Gallery. She has been practicing performance art locally and internationally. Uh, that includes 25th Beyond Pressure Festival at Yangon, Asia Topia, Southeast Asia Conference, uh, various special projects and art residency at Club 50 uh, in Milan, etc. Et so that's a quite lengthy list here, actually. She actually holds a bachelor's degree of fine art at, uh, at UITM back in 2003. So, so in my own investigation about performance art, then before the coming in of um, artists like Intan and also Sharon, so there were already like performances being done, but then at a time there was, you know, there were no such contextualization. We don't know what it was, but it was something that artists do at a time. You know, not all the time, but once in a while we get that kind of activities or events happening. Okay, then only in my observation that since 2000, that there's more consistency in the making on or in doing performance art. So in, in this regard, like in, uh, artists like Intan and also Sharon Chin becomes one of the most two interesting proponents of performance art in Malaysia. So I would like to in, first invite Intan to sort of share with us her experience or her you know, motivation on, uh, on things that you do. <laughs> okay, and later Sharon as well. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you, Doctor. I think for this opportunity, I want to just share about my... Um, because I'm a curator from National Art Gallery and I'm doing art, so I would like to share some of the projects that I do and some of the artwork that I have done before. So, um, for the last year, actually, the curator have been informed that we got, like, uh, we will have uh, uh, exhibitions taken at Namdekat, who will be May to December 2018. Uh, and I've got the um, space that we can um, propose about our collections. And I feel that I just recognize that in our collections, we have um, some of the photography and installation, like I think the evidence about the performance art that we have collected which is that I feel that sometimes performance are not really recognized in our art scenes, especially in the collections. So this is what I find, what I found in our collection is early uh, 70s, right, Dr. Ray? Um, we've got a collection from Anna Alam. Uh, when I talk, with one of the members, and he say that he not called performance art, but he called like a, a small theater, theater kecil. So they do for with our with their collective and their own space, uh, an alam space. So next, and I have tried to find another um, archive and collections that Balai have done a collaborations with um, Five Arts Centre and Ray were one of the curators that involved with the project of um, Wabok Slalang uh, Killing Tools. I was just the editor of the so I have read Ray writings about this and it's really interesting at that time how uh, Balai Seni have collaborated with the artists and they done like a, you know grow the lalang and the process is there and they are open to discuss but I don't know how far that they have that kind of discussions and dialogue about the performance arts and the skin trilogy I see that uh, how they transfer the space of the gallery become a, a performance space and it's not only performance art but it involves uh, performing too in the uh, in terms of the presenting the artwork at that time so in this um, site actually in this uh, platform I see that's how the reflections of the artwork at that time really reflects to the situations yeah next so it's not only um, um, 
for the past thing and this is like uh, the continuity for the 2011s and that one is early 2002. So Balasani have like uh, do a residency for the performance arts by Ami Zanurin and Buka Jalan. Uh, Sharon will uh, elaborate more about the festival, which is I feel that this is a good start for the not a not a start actually, but it's a continuity is there. But uh, as I say, like performance art is already a political context. If you say about the performance art, because it's really present and it's really involved with the real situation at that time. So next. So this is our collections that not really um, mentions about performance art, but I see that some of the installations and the items is from the performance art that Balai have. Not many of performance, but we have the collections. Okay, so I try to read more books about performance art. <laughs> this is the term that I think is relevant for me uh, about the, the performance, that performance enable artists to articulate their ideas in action, to set them in the motion, although some of the ideas were not always adequately articulated or for that matters, worthy of communication. Authentically, new approaches to the art as a form of visual communication that to be explored. So it's really about the communication. It's really about how you create the dialogue and how you approach the audience and who is your audience. And next, I think for this part, I would like to share about my performance art, which is I have learned a lot about how to presenting your work and who is your audience um, to creating the art and having it out. It's just a different way to talk, I think, to have a conversation and grow your work. So this is uh, my early artwork, uh, 2004, that accidentally I involved with performance art. I never have um, ideas about performance art in my... Um, uh, when I involved with the fine art, when I started studying fine art in, in UITM Shah Alam, so I never have that education about the performance art. But when I graduated, it's accidentally when the curator from National Art Gallery 2004, Majidi, will ask me to uh, actually, there is another artist who with this performance, but it's last minute, Ili Farhana just go to uh, Yogyakarta. So, he just asked me, uh, Intan, can you please um, ganti Eli for the performance? And I said, I don't know what is the performance art. And at that time, we don't have a Google, apa semua. So I said, OK, can you just explain me? Because of um, after graduated, I'm not um, a commercial artist to selling the artwork. So <laughs> so they offered me, OK, that's uh, 40 ringgit per day. So I said, OK, <laughs> I need the money. So just brief me what is going on. And at that time, that they have like a, a group from um, Indonesia, Blue Prop Project. And from Malaysia, they have a Paiman, senior artist for me. Like, I think he have an experience for the performance side. And they have a Miss Lina, like a very performing theater artist. And when I go to National Art Gallery and they say like, Intan, your character, you'll be a fire. I say like, okay. So we collaborate with the fashion designer from Yogyakarta. So she will give you the costume of the fire. And then they brief me about the sound, the, the prop at that time. And I talk a lot with them and I said, this is my first performance. I don't know what to do and they give me a chance to hear the sounds, you know. So, so they say that I can respond to that issue, that situation, the present, and people will involve at that uh, uh, platform and you will respond to, the, to them spontaneously. So I say, okay, fine. So next. So I'm trying to, basically, I need something that, um, for my, this is my statement for my whole performance that I do that 
it depends all my statement is, uh, all my performance it depends on the situations you know it never it never seems a performance but i'm always reminding myself that um, i have this point when i do a performance next so this is my early performance 2006 saya down sini dan air pencerahan at sesan gallery bangsa So I have actually for this performance I have my painting at the back and I'll paint um, the canvas with my tongue and I use a better leaf better right better leaf So normally um, for my performance I realize that after the performance I will get sick because of I feel that oh mungkin yang ini you know a lots of battle and um, the leaf and make me you know i get ulcer a lot and for the other performance i think is about the energy that how i you know express my energy at that time to the audience so um, for the performance sometimes um, the presence is the real deal of me when i try to to making artwork Next. So this is 2018 Alin Telo as I say like some of my work it's respond to the uh, uh, political or social critic but some of the work this work is Alin Telo is uh, my experience from my uh, childhood even like when I'm still adult, adult um, my family like especially for my mother's side they're really into it this thing of uh, Alin Telo is a one of the traditions of the Malay that if you have something like sick like I have like you know in my body I have like lump I think more than 35 you know so my mom say that okay we go to this machi and you know we bring like we have to find um, a, a, like kampung telo kampung and you know I just lay down and she like but she something for the telo and then he say okay you have to bring this egg to your place and every day you have to you know all for your body and then you have to break it but but you have to do every day consistently so i try to do like for three days but after that i forgot and i say like no <laughs> and then my mom say like no you have to do every day if not you have to repeat again from the side So I think this element is really interesting you know how you use this nature thing to heal yourself but it's not about the ache it's about how you trust that medium who connected to your body and how to to feel you relief I think so so this Alin Telo is I try to bring the idea like how the the nature connecting to your body and the situation at that time so next so this is my um performance at gluck 50 milan 2018 that i've got i have applied for two years then uh after 2018 i just got the invitations and uh they give me like um i think a month for the space this uh, residency and i install um this is after elections and the idea is i'm when i go out for the internationally uh, event i try to find they always ask me a statement for the artwork but when i just arrive there i'll try to find what is a connection between my idea and their their audience you know because i don't want to lose in the in the time that i do a presenting of my performance art So I just uh, we just have a election at that time when I go and I just realized the Italian they are very nationalist and at the point when I call we call bandera and they call bandera so I think the idea of mother tongue is really strong and I try to bring back the idea of the we are winning the elections and i install like a, a two, 200 i forgot 200 empty flake and the roses and uh, the performance that i invite them 
to the spade, but before that, I clean up their hands and I give them a, a food color, black, and I never, I don't give any uh, direction them how to paint the, the flag, but I give the, I say that you can choose your flag and just whatever you want to paint on it. And there be an interactive performance that they use, uh, automatically they use their hands and draw, which is that remind me about the election that we, you know, use the inking on the, uh, on the fingers. So, at the back, if you see, that's my previous performance that I do before that when we just announced about the issue of 1MDB. So, that performance is about a Makan Duit that I do at um, Lost Gen Space that I really um, use uh, money in the performance to talking or to response about the issue of 1MDB at that time. So next, so this is the the this, um, the moment for the early performance. Next, so I use this before I go there. Like I try to find a bandera, a flag. Like after the elections, and when I go there, like I try to cut it and try to make a patches and you know, sambungkan, and then they have like um. Uh, they're helping. They're helping me a lot with the materials and um, uh, the, the preparations for the performance. And um, this is my. I can say this is my first time. Like I never, when I creating performance art, I never have in my mind about to selling the work. I never had that because I know that. I just want to engage to the audience. I just want to, you know, share my artwork. If I want the money, then I can work as a curator. So for this is my my performance that uh, have been collected there, and they they collect the bandera, they collect the installations and the performance and video, and I think it's worth it for me. And I feel that this performance have uh, become another steps in my creating artwork. So next, so I when I I paint actually on the uh, flag is aftermath. So the idea is about the aftermath that I see uh, about our elections. So you need a process to cleansing and need a process to building up. Next, so this is the the latest performance at Copenhagen. So I'm talking about the. Uh, about the budaya and how like it's hard for people to bring over and over again your ideas of your cultures to outside for me that like, it's complicated thing. Um, next, oh, today. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. I thought I had more. Thank you, Intan, for those interest, interesting uh, sharing of uh, your past practices. Okay.